How's it going traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly. My name is Dapo Willis and I'm back with a bang. Now guys, I've been away for a bit. I've been on holiday. I mean, it's been amazing for me because most of, I mean, the, 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 the last part of last year from like uh, August till November, I made so much money from the Forex market and I said to myself like, yo, listen, I'm going to redraw a significant amount of my profits and I'm going to go spend time with my family. So what I did was I took out a lot of money from the, my trading account and I got on the plane, first class of course, and I flew to go spend time with my family and have a fantastic time. For those of you guys who came out to the Forex Expo event and you saw me, I love you guys very much. Thank you for coming out. But I've actually been on holiday because why do we do what we do? The essence of why we trade is so that we can actually take money out and go relax okay most of us see the you know fancy stuff on youtube and all that and at the end of the day forex or trading is supposed to signify freedom right so i actually like to practicalize what forex is about now enough about my fantastic holiday which i went to spend a lot of money from forex um enough about that today I want to kick it off with, uh, this is I think my second video of the year, I want to kick today off with a video called Trader Talk. Now, Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to practicalize what I preach. A lot of traders don't do this, you just talk, talk, talk. I like, this is exactly where everything you've learned about Forex from candlesticks to trend lines to higher highs, higher lows, Fibonacci, all that good stuff. Everything you've ever learned about Forex, I bring everything together to make it make sense. Okay, so the essence of this channel is so that you guys can take what I'm teaching you guys in real time, real life, real price action, real analysis, and ultimately use it to make money for yourself. So I'm the guy who helps you make money without you even have to having to do much, right? So that's absolutely amazing. Now, before I jump into the charts and share, guys, I have some really nice setups that you guys are gonna love, like we're, we're here to make money, right? But before I jump into the charts, I noticed that while I was on holiday, I think I find I, I think I, t I I find the best time to go on holidays because whilst I was on holidays, I noticed that the market was actually very quiet. And most traders struggle when the market is quiet. This is where a lot of people get stopped out. This is where a lot of people go to lose their money. You know, most people who made a lot of money last year just because they couldn't understand why the market was quiet, they pretty much gave away all their gains. So let me quickly explain to you what's been happening in the Forex market and why exactly the market has been so quiet. Now, you have to understand that I, I, I studied in the UK, I studied in Coventry Business School, I uh, studied business and finance, and from a finance standpoint, this is exactly why the Forex market has been quiet. Now, if you look back, okay, if you go back, um, and don't worry guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys a strategy uh, as to how to go about, you know, mitigating against when the market is quiet, how to still make money when the market is quiet. I'll teach you guys that in this video. Just relax. Now, what what, what usually happens is anytime, so you have to understand that towards the end of last year, the US dollar was trending seriously. Like the euro was collapsing, the pound was collapsing, gold was falling. It was beautiful. I made so much money off that period. But what a lot of traders don't understand is... For every major for every major move in the market, there must always be a resultant period of consolidation. So what that simply means is, if the US dollar moves like four thousand pips over a period of what five months, best believe there's gonna be a six week six to eight week period of consolidation. Now, a lot of traders don't know this, so they believe that, oh, if they've been able to make money over the last well, five months and the market has moved 5,000 pips, they feel like the market is going to keep doing that. So what now happens is they keep trading. Maybe, the, the for example, the US dollar was trending upwards. It was a bullish trend. DXY was going upwards. The Euro, uh, it, once you came on the market and clicked sell, once you came on, the came on the market and click sell, boom, you were good, right? You make a lot of money. Um, but obviously, the market went into a range and everybody started to lose their money. Now, what actually happens during this period when there's low levels of liquidity is liquidity actually moves from market to market. So if you see a low period of liquidity in the Forex market, the chances are that the liquidity has actually moved from the Forex market to the stock market and then it moves from the stock market at the moment the crypto market is starting to pick up so that's where most people 
the big banks are the guys who moved the market they've made money from the forex market and now they've moved it to the crypto market now like i said to you guys what's the best way to go about being able to make money while even the forex market is quiet there's an approach called the top-down analysis which i teach on the forex mastery program that allows you to trade any market regardless the good thing about the top-down analysis is you can trade forex you can trade crypto you can trade s p 500 you can trade gold so there's never really a dull moment for you in the market once you understand how to do the top-down analysis and and another good thing about the top-down analysis is and the forex mastery program is it actually shows you Rather, you, you get to get, get a sense of when the market is about to go quiet because the higher time frame will always paint the picture. And a lot of people keep running away from the higher time frame, like, oh, I don't trade. No, 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 no. The higher time frame will always paint the picture for what the lower time frame is about to do. Now, for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, the link is going to be around here somewhere. Get it and save yourself from periods like this so that regardless of whatever happens, you're making money all year round and get to be like me who goes to hol who gets to go on holiday whenever he likes so enough about that i'm going to jump into the into the chat shortly about now um once again if you haven't grabbed the program the link is going to be around here somewhere ensure to grab it and if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel smash the subscribe button right there once again guys my name is dapper willis let's jump into the video let's go hey guys and welcome inside of my screen as always it's a pleasure to have you guys back on trader talk I feel like this is the most anticipated aspect of my YouTube channel because on here I, I, I get to be real, right? I get to break down the charts and explain to you guys what exactly has been happening. Like you guys know, um, the better part of um, towards the end of last year, so from about, as you can see, September, I was right, all the way down till October. Um, it was a fantastic downward movement. Actually, it started the move started all the way in August. Um, so we made a lot of money from the forex market. Actually, before I start anything in this video, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I remember I said to you guys that if indeed you want to stand any chance at mitigating against losses, especially when um, the forex market is in a period of consolidation, and you want to be able to trade other markets, I kindly and humbly suggest you get the forex mastery program don't worry the subscription thing has been taken off um because because i feel like my team is some people are being charged a subscription fee some people are unable to be charged a subscription fee so until they fix that which will probably take another month so you have literally another month to get the forex mastery program so get it so that everything i'm saying here you would understand the link is always in the description as always or somewhere around here get it so that you can meet to get so that you can trade any single market. you're going to watch me I'm going to break down every, anything that comes my way I can chew. This way, you're not limited to just one market, Euro, GBP, USD, or the Forex market. You can trade anything you so desire. So once again, get it. And once you get it, always ensure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you can use both of them. If you get, you get the Forex Mastery program and you're a subscriber of my YouTube channel, if you combine these two very key elements, you will be so successful in the Forex market, you will know what to do with all that money, right? So just wanted to quickly state that. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts. Now, as we all know, the market has been, as we all know, the market has been, um, Sorry, guys, my phone is about to ring. As we all know, the market has been pretty quiet. How do I know the market has been pretty quiet? If you come to the four-hour time frame, uh, you would see that the market has just from the times of January, right? So the market has been, you know, consolidating all the way to the upside. We come up, blah, 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 blah. It's been really boring. There's no clear direction, as you can see. Now, the reason why this is happening is, like I keep telling you guys, for every major move, there must be a period of consolidation, right? So if we come quickly come to the monthly time frame, right? Don't forget, Forex Mastery students, you already know this. For those of you who are in the Forex Mastery program, you know the very first thing you always have to do when you open up a chart is you must come, you must come on your monthly time frame to see what exactly is happening. And on the monthly time frame, as you can see, very easy, very clear, not too much, you know, not too many lines, very straightforward, right? So on the monthly time frame, what has, and this, this pair is called AUD USD, by the way. So on the monthly time frame, what has actually happened is you can see there's been a massive move to the downside. This 
was the game changer actually sometime in although we still spiked all the way down in october but i'd already done making money all the way here um and then we're still trying to push it a bit lower and because of this you have to understand that this move actually started all the way from here right it's been a minute this move has actually been coming since april right so if, due to the fact that we've had this massive push to the downside this is exactly why this consolidation is happening at the moment and this is not just happening on usd it's happening on euro dollar as well i think euro dollar is a better example for us to understand what i mean by impulse legs and consolidation right so you can see this massive collapse to the downside right it's crazy the euro has been collapsing since what february of last year it's been making lower lows and lower highs if you come on the weekly time frame you get what i mean guys my duty is to explain to you guys what exactly is happening in the forex market so that you can use this information to make more money as you can see we've been coasting making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and we've been coasting all the way to the downside now because of the fact that we know how to do the top-down analysis we were actually able to predict that the, that the euro was actually going to come to parity and my overall target was not 0.9600 and as you can see we've come here and we've absolutely turned around now simple this collapse we must always have a result and move always and usually the collapse is a lot sweeter because as you can see pull back for pull back for pull back for these pullbacks give traders the opportunity to jump into the trend so for every pullback we've been adding as you can imagine from all the way from 1.143 to 9 all the way down to 0.9600 which sorry for the breaking transmission i am back uh my mom was trying to call me you know how much i love my mom uh it's very important for me to obviously take care of her and most of my forex profits yeah, I go spend time with my family and enjoy myself. Um, and I wish the same for you guys as well because our parents are everything. I wish you guys success. Make a lot of money from the Forex market and go take it, obviously, to take care of your family as well. Now, back to what I was saying. So the pip count from 1.1400 all the way down here, if I'm not mistaken, you're looking about 2,000 pips. Now, the top-down analysis, we obviously knew this was going to collapse. All these lines have been plotted here for even before the market came here. We had this zone, even the market. So we had all these zones right so i mean look at the crazy pip count so for every time collapse pull back collapse pull back collapse pull back so it's been sweet all the way down now where traders tend to have issues is when they don't know where the market is most likely going to spin around right i can't really share that here reversal patterns are proprietary to the forex mastery program so you have to get it to know and understand when the market is about to reverse but anyways we did reverse i knew we were going to reverse because i was saying it i actually stopped trading after this last pullback which is about here you can check my previous videos on youtube because i could see from the price action um that the market was going to spin around and obviously we had a major level plotted don't forget guys no indicator can plot this for you pure technical analysis for you to be able to do all of this now we started to rally all the way back to the upside now this is exactly where the traders came to lose their money why because why because they kept on you know when you've been shorting the market for such a long time you start to feel like the market can only go lower right so every time we pull back up like this they started selling you give them some profit push back up you do like you want to come back down and push back on all that so they gave away most of their gains here okay but um like i keep saying to you guys once again you always have to remember this for future purposes for every major move there must be a resultant move now the question is what do i think these pairs are going to do next now it's a 50 50 scenario it's still very much a 50 50 case um day traders will argue with me as a matter of fact before i recorded this video i just literally had a spaz out with day traders on twitter most of them are going to watch this and yeah day traders still don't make money they're still broke <laughs> um, I, I, that's a hill i'm ready ready really 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 much ready to to die on um because most of the time day traders don't exactly know the direction of the overall direction of the market they just trade blindly on very lower time frames they don't get to see the bigger picture like we can see right about here right just by looking at euro usd just from a high time frame perspective i know that if we continue in this trajectory the next level target is going to be 1.04889 most people who are using lower time frame strategies don't they can't see this now this is where a lot of people get it wrong yes you can use your lower time frame strategy 
but you need to be able to use it in confluence with whatever is happening on a higher time frame. If you combine these two, two, these two things together, you then only then can you consistently extract money from the market. But most of these guys, scalpers just jumping in and out, they just want to make a quick buck. Then you're gambling, then you're not actually trading. So if you know you want to separate yourself from the rest of the pack, this is this kind of stuff you should digest. This is kind of stuff you need to learn how to do. It's a top-down analysis. Once again, the link to the Forex Match program is around here as always, or in the link in the description, right? Get it and change your perspective and stop playing around with these damn day traders, right? So what is Euro USD going to do next? Now, judging from what I can see right about here, um, I can see that we've pulled back significantly. I'm just going to do a quick analysis on euro usd as you can see we've pulled back into this 50 fibonacci level so this market is still technically in a downtrend why because we have high low high lower low this is technically looking like a lower high is basic principles of price action you don't need to complicate it you know indicator is going you don't need anybody to tell you this right so from what i can see right about now we have capped at this region right right about here so 1.10 is acting as a point of resistance if i'm not mistaken should be a round number uh 1.10 is acting as a point of resistance it is a round number if i'm not mistaken no, no, one two is that round numbers all right cool so it's acting as a point of resistance and now the market seems to be coming back down now ideally i should be bearish on euro usd now when i speak about euro usd most of the pairs are pretty much um, the euro and the great british pound are actually kind of like in line with what exactly i'm saying but um what i can see from euro usd is yes indeed we want to point lower i would favor this to the downside why because if you come on a higher time frame the higher time frame always paints the bigger picture right the higher time frame is telling me that this is a massive push to the downside huge this is a retracement and because we've made a lower low high lower low lower high lower low lower high right so because we've made a lower low about here this is a we've broken down here and we're technically making a lower high i would start to favor to the downside however you see i always have a however so that we can always preserve our capital and we don't get out ahead of ourselves there's a counter trend line that's in place somewhere about here now most people will say oh dabs but it's going to take us forever for us to trade and this is what i always tell people um <clears throat> you have to understand that during a period of consolidation when the market isn't showing you your setups you really shouldn't be trading that much you can play around with the markets but you really shouldn't be trading that much this a lot of people fail to comprehend because at the end of the day we're here to trade the highest probability setups this is why i can walk into a meeting and people want to trade people want to throw millions of dollars at me why because i'm a very patient trader right people don't people be trolling oh they wait forever for a setup to form i would rather wait for a high probability setup and guarantee a 10% return on investment on a trade than to be scouting around for setups and then lose money on it. Guys, we're not here to constantly be trading. We're here to consistently make money. So I had to ask myself, and this is a question you need to ask yourself as well. Why am I trading? Am I trading because I'm bored? Am I trading because I'm jobless or I'm trading because I want to make money consistently? Now, if you want to make money consistently, you need to understand that patience is a virtue and patience is an attribute that is only attributed to the winners in this game. So once again, I'll be watching EURUSD. Ideally, this market should come down into this blue box about here. Now, what will determine if the euro will continue falling lower? Because to be honest, at this point, anything can happen, right? I would ideally want this market to come close back down below this blue bar for further downside. But if we sustain above this blue bar, we could, we could push to the upside without a doubt. You see, as a trader, the reason why I'm always right is because I like to allow the price dictate. Tell me 
what exactly are you going to do? I'm not going to tell you what to do because you're going to do what you want to do anyways, right? So I always like to present all these ca my cases and all these scenarios and leave, you know, the room open for the market to do what exactly it wants to do. But I like when the market does what it wants to do and then it commits to a particular direction. Right now, the euro isn't committing. I would like for it to come down here. The only way I'll be interested in the euro is if we come down here, break down here, or we form. Let me show you why I'm being careful here, guys. You see, I've been doing this shit for a very long time, right? Okay. And most of the time, when I tell people, don't do this, don't do that, is because I have experienced that particular. The, the, the main reason why I'm so good in Forex is because I've seen a lot of trades. I've traded a lot of setups. I've, I've seen a lot of patterns. That's what I'm looking for. Now, look at this very carefully, right? So we've broken back into this major support and we're currently on top of it right about here. I want this market to break down here for a reason. We can come here and turn around. If you go to AUDUSD, <clears throat> look at AUDUSD. Very similar thing happened in when April of... This was during lockdown, I remember I was doing a webinar. You can see we pulled down here and we formed a base about here and we rallied to the upside. This base, once this base was formed, I was expecting the market to come down here, close down below here. The market didn't do that. So I waited to see what was happening and we formed a double bottom about here and the monthly candle showed me, monthly pattern showed me this. This is a bullish engulfing pattern. So once I saw this, I was like, aha, the market has used this as a base and it wants to go higher. Where was it most likely going to go higher to? This blue bar right about here. Because we all know that the market moves from zone to zone. So what I'm trying to say here in essence is it's always important for you to wait for confirmation from higher time frames. Once the market, once the market, once the market just wants to start going, okay? Once the market wants to start going, then at least you're sure that indeed we want to head into this direction. But best believe lower time frame traders, aka day traders, will still be trying to short this market or they will still be on the euro right now clicking buy, sell, buy, sell. They have no idea. Imagine people have no idea what the euro is going to do next. Even the euro doesn't know what it wants to do next. But you see traders, day traders, they still want to come there and be acting like they know what's happening, right? They don't know it's a buy, it's a sell. Every day is a buy, it's a buy, it's a buy, it's a sell, it's a sell. Meanwhile, the euro doesn't even know what he wants to do, right? It has no idea. So two things, I'm expecting two things from the, from the euro USD. A break lower or a push to the upside. I would allow candlestick patterns, okay? So candlestick patterns would dictate what exactly is going to happen around these regions. You see my trading? Very simple and straightforward. I don't need to complicate it. When the market is ready, it will come knock on my door. Mr. Willis, I am ready. So enough about the euro. The same situation is happening for GBPUSD as we speak. Um, so you can see GBPUSD. Hold on, guys. I go over to the weekly time frame. GBPUSD is very similar to the euro although the difference is i'll show you the difference is the euro jump the, the consolidation for the euro so let me just zoom this in because i don't know if you guys will be able to see it. the consolidation for the euro jumped and closed above and started on top here or it was on top of the resistance which is now support level right the difference between that and this is this one is on the resistance level so this one is actually telling me that i was not able to break this resistance level low this is more you know i'm more at peace with this one right the euro will still need to show me some extra commitment when i tell people that i'm right nine out of ten times they are they question me they, 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 they be like i don't believe you now let me explain to you why i am right nine out of ten times it's because i wait for extra confirmation you see this market has something like it's, it's, it's spiritual right it keeps pulling pulling you pulling you you have to within yourself have to say no i'm gonna wait for my setups i'm gonna be patient for you to confirm to me because trust me they're market manipulators the market manipulators in this game the market knows exactly what it's doing the market will shake out retail traders shake them out before it goes in this exact direction i don't consider myself a retail trader i manage well over 150 million dollars okay i've got 150 
um, asset under management. I'm not a retail trader anymore. I'm an institutional trader. So I have to think like one and I have to trade like one, right? So I will wait for an extra confirmation. In this case, GBPUSD is showing more promising signs. So if I just typically take my Fibonacci from swing low to swing, swing high to swing low, you can see this is a resistance and a Fibonacci at play. Let me also see maybe we can get um, trend line to trend line conference not looking likely but maybe so technically we're still trading under this trend line right right about here now this is more i i feel more comfortable with gbp usd so what i'm going to do next is very simple right as you can see i would put my counter trend line like so which the market seems to have broken right about now what do i then do next simple and straightforward there's a minor support level okay i'm teaching you guys there's a simple and straightforward there's a minor support level now before i save anything further let me quickly do a top-down analysis on gpus so that you guys know why i'm looking at a sell look at the higher time frame we all know monthly is this is a huge push pull back so we're bearish monthly time frame needs to tell us down weekly Plot our key levels on the weekly time frame. Um, I'm forgetting this level right about here. This was the level. Okay. Cool. So you can see we've plotted our key levels. They look really nice here, here, here. Everything looking cool. Counter trend line has been drawn. We don't draw that on the monthly. We draw that on the daily time frame. So if you draw your counter trend line like so, this you would have gotten triggered about here okay you, you'll be short already so most people are already about break even now most people who trade my style of trading i mean the professionals i mean <laughs> but i like for extra confirmation so i do this All right so this is on the daily time frame so what do i then do what's the next thing to do we've broken this out breakout retest continuation there's one reason why this market hasn't dropped it's because of this minor support level about here now, I can tell you for free, and I can categorically state this. When, if, and when GBPUSD breaks 1.19068, we are going to bleed all the way down to 1.1400. Let me just adjust this properly. 1.1400, sorry. If you want to learn how to plot these levels very accurately, the Forex Mastery Program will help you. It's on module four right once we break here we're coming all the way down here without a doubt and once we clear here you're coming here but the market needs to confirm to you first look at this entire juice if you calculate the pip count from 1.1900 all the way down to 1.06 so this is a thousand a potential 1100 pip drop now ask yourself this would you rather be trying to catch 10, 12, 15 pips every day. Today you're up 10 pips, tomorrow you're down 30 pips, tomorrow you're up 15, next day 35, next day you're down 70. Stressed, blood rushing through your freaking veins. You know, you're stressed out, you know, you're frustrated, only to maybe bag at the end of the year, at the end of the month, maybe plus 100 pips. That's if you actually make a profitable month. You go through all that day in day out plus 30 pips minus 25 pips, plus 120 minus 30 and at the end of the month let's say let's say you had a good month 100 pips 150 pips all that stress you wake up every day london session nine o'clock you're on your desk remember or you can be like me who's always having fun and attending meetings and wearing expensive clothes and flying first class who just checks his chart on once a day and allows the market to come to him and I still am able to bank 1,100 pips just from five minutes of analysis. Five minutes of analysis. Five. It's taking us five. The reason it's taking us a bit longer is because I'm explaining to you guys. This is the power of top-down analysis. 
This is the power of patience. This is the power of allowing the market do what it's supposed to do. And this is the power of allowing the market to come to you. So it's simple. It's a 50-50 case right about here. We can blow out all the way to the upside. If it does that, I'm not interested. But I can see something like a little head and shoulder pattern forming. Once, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. If USD breaks 1.202, next level target is 1.140. If we take this out all the way to the downside, 1.0600. So that's pretty much it. Jim USD, I like it. I like it. Gold, not so much. Gold hasn't really given me a proper pattern that I like to trade yet. I'm monitoring gold in one corner of my eyes. Now, let's look at BTC. Let's look at BTC to prove to you that this can be used for any single market. When BTC collapsed, to show you how powerful the top-down analysis is, when BTC collapsed, when Bitcoin collapsed, I knew it was going to collapse. Why? Because there's a principle of price action that states that if indeed a if indeed a market is going to continue going higher, we need to make a significant higher high. A what? A significant higher high. The market came on the monthly time frame and closed at the previous high, making this a double bottom, double top rather. <clears throat> and then I started to see this red bar. I said it's over for it's over. It's over for BTC. It's over. And then what happened? When day traders were struggling here, trying to buy and sell, I could already see. I could see that from here, if we're able to break here, the next level target was going to be down here. So I predicted the collapse of Bitcoin from 57K all the way down to 34K, even lower, actually. I predicted all the way down here, but that's the story for another day, right? How did I know that? It's simple. Higher time frame paints the picture. Once I was able to identify this move, then I came on the lower time frame and I started looking for pullback sell setups. I do come on the lower time frame to trade. I just don't analyze on the lower time frame. That's the mistake a lot of people make. I do come on the lower time frame to trade. I just don't analyze on the lower time frame because it doesn't tell me shit. It doesn't tell me anything. Everything I need to know is on the what higher time frame. Okay, then once I was able to anticipate that, yes, next next level target is going to be down here. Simple, you can come to your four hour time frame. Because I was able to anticipate that, oh, the market was going to co collapse all the way to the downside. When when you then come to a lower time frame, all you look for is sell setups. There's a lot of pullbacks here. Sell here, sell here, sell here. And I've made all this move. Sell here. There's a lot of sell opportunities. If you follow the entry and exit strategy that I teach on the Forex Mastery program, you would have found a lot of... I was able to short sell BTC all the way down. Even around here, I was still selling. Okay? Now... Once again, the power of top-down analysis and being able to trade every single market. Now that BTC is about here, what is the next step? I always tell you why what happened, why this happened, why that happened, and what exactly is going to be the next step. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> if I just move this a bit higher, it's about here. So, support broke below it, couldn't really sustain. We're now back above it. From what I can see, ladies and gentlemen, liquidity is coming into the crypto market right about now. I am anticipating. So right now, BTC has a minor support, which is about here. So this level is acting as minor support. Uh, it's about $24,700 per coin. is acting like major resistance. If we can clear this on the daily candle close, which should be soon which should be soon. Um, next level target for Bitcoin will be 32K. Yes, I said it, Bitcoin 32K, because Bitcoin, Bitcoin don't try no. Everybody has insulted crypto. <laughs> crypto is back, niggas, it's back, man. Crypto is back. So yeah, we would most likely try to jump into this region. Will we jump above back into this region? Only price can dictate that once we get here. But I can tell you for free, once Bitcoin clears $24,800 per coin, next level to target is 32 k I will be jumping on Bitcoin as well. Okay? Why? Because as you can see clearly, that's the next demand zone. So your setup is going to look a bit like this. Push up, come to lower time frame, look for significant pullbacks. And then voila, all the way to the upside. But Bitcoin will need to give me a daily candle confirmation somewhere around here. And then I'll look for buy setups all the way to the upside. You see, with this, with this approach, 
It's simple and straightforward. The mark, I've, I've built my case for entry. Another reason why I feel there's a reversal on Bitcoin, sorry, I forgot to mention, which is very important, removal aid drawing tools, is because this is a this is a reversal pattern, the candlestick pattern. This is a what reversal candlestick pattern. You see, when patterns form, I keep getting this level wrong. Hold on, guys. You see, when levels form on monthly time, sorry, when candlestick patterns, double tops, double top, double bottom candlestick patterns, when they form on a monthly time frame and on a major level, you have to pay attention to them. They are very important, okay? Because of that, I know for a fact that the market is due for a pullback. The market isn't just going to drop like this without pulling back. Look, for every time we've dropped, we'll pull back. We'll drop. It needs to come. We need to breathe. The market it breathe. So we'll do this. So this is actually lines up with the Fibonacci retracement for the A, B, C, D leg. I don't know what's going to happen when we get here. Once again, the market has to dictate. But what I do know for free is we're coming here once we clear out this level so that's btc guys simple straightforward top-down analysis is so easy so straightforward to understand if you want more depth information about it how to use it forex mastery program is your friend the link is in the description as always so i think i'm gonna end with just the euro and gbp for this week next week i'll be back AUDUSD. i'm also oh forgot to mention this bad boy bad boy this is actually one of my favorite pairs so this is exactly what's happening to AUD, AUD USD. so if you notice something about all the pairs at the moment all the pairs that you all the us dollar pairs right if you notice something at the moment all of them are all slanting like this they have all retraced all that time you were stressing yourself they were just retracing that's why i keep telling these day day traders don't listen all that time you were stressed out, not being able to make a profit. I was chilling on holiday. The market was retracing. retracing. I knew this. That's why I left it alone. That's why I keep telling you guys. Get into your coconut head. <laughs> if you always zoomed in day trading, people like me are always going to come take money from you. Because when we were resting, you're stressing. And when we come back, we always come back with utmost certainty. High strike rate. And by that time, you've either run out of capital you're emotionally distressed, or you're on the wrong side of the market. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dapo Willis. Ensure to get the Forex Mastery Program so that you can understand how to do a top-down analysis. I'm back now. I'm not going anywhere. This year, I'm dedicating it to YouTube, to you guys, to trading and YouTube. I love you guys very much, uh, and I'll catch you guys on my other screen. Let us go. Hey, guys, thank you for staying till the very end of this very, very lengthy video. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. As you can see, I have explained to you guys what is most likely going to play out for the year ahead. Um, my name is Dapo Willis, and that's my time. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to the Forex Mastery Program, the link is around here as always. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy, and peace out.